true term. <coughs> well, a lot of people say they live in trailer park, but that ain't really true. I mean, we have a lot of poor people in trailer park, but you come to New Orleans, we got bank presidents living in trailer park because of Katrina. Mm -hmm. and, they, and remember that they got more poor whites in this country because they got a bigger population. But the only thing poor black folks, a poor Latino, a poor Asian, all the poor people, well, white, there are more white folks, over 200 million white people in this country, and they got a more poor, and they all in, in trailer park. We don't know where they at, but everybody trying to help us. But white folks really need the help, because that's what's got us in our situation anyway. So we got to know this and we do it. Now, we don't use the word ghetto no more. We use the word called, called a target area. Anybody who writes grants know what that means. <clears throat> target area. You know, you know who the target is. This is the language that describes our community. You know, you know, nobody say, well, do you work in a strong, empowered, black community, Latino Asian, where people are strong and got a lot of assets? No, people don't see that shit. They say, I work in a target area with those minorities who are at risk. So even language is negative. The language can also add to our death. You know, what's a, what's a negative term saying they call folks in Vietnam, Vietnam, uh, Vietnamese? What's a negative term? Goop. Goop. Now you call somebody a gook enough, you treat them as a gook. So language can play, you know, nobody knows gook. They've called us niggas and everything else. So you call somebody who's negative term, what's a minority? What, what, they call you a minority. You know, your mama didn't ever call you, here come my little minority baby. You know, my little minority son. But now we call our children minorities now to get a grant. You say, well, that ain't nothing but a, ain't nothing but a word. You're playing with words, you know. If, you, if you've been dealt with in a negative way from, from the side of your mama's womb, and now you're still being called, a, called less than, that's going to affect you, whether you think it or not. And if, if, and if, and if you get a minority, so that's why, that's part of the devaluing us. That's how we treat each other so bad, because we don't, we, you know, so everything is, language has played a role in taking us out. So, get over it. Now, let, if you took me around Seattle, and Seattle's a different kind of world up here. I, I always have a struggle with, what are some negative things to let you, if you're in Seattle or New York, to let you know you're in a rundown area? What are some things you see right away? Roads. Bad roads with potholes and what else? The people. People hanging out all hours of the night, right? Mm -hmm. What about convenience stores? Fried mm -hmm. chicken. <laughs> what about the fried chicken place? Mm -hmm. What about we rent to own? Yeah. Pay their loans. Bars on the, the dollar store. The 99 cent store. The family dollar store. The general dollar store, Churches the everywhere. 99 cent damn store, the, the, all these, is, that, that, is that going on? Yeah, yeah. Now, what else, they also got, uh, what else they got in here, but they got, uh, what else did you know you know right now? They got railroad tracks, I don't know about here, but some place got railroad tracks. MLK. MLK, and it stops when they get downtown. It don't go all the way through. And every city got an MLK. And some got Cesar Chavez. What about uh, 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 the church? Yeah. Not church is chicken, but the church, <laughs> the church. And then they got the ballroom next to that. We rent to own. Hey, the schools that look like prisons. <clears throat> now that's in any neighborhood with Vic. Y'all don't have like the real projects here. Y'all got, no, no, got, got little, little nice looking projects. We got, here. We got grass. Shit, <laughs> y'all ain't never seen. <laughs> you know, do y'all have, have basketball goals with no nets on them? No, we have nets. <laughs> <laughs> we, have line, we have lines on the uh, playgrounds too. Oh, <laughs> okay. I mean, most of us don't have one necessarily. Right. I don't know. Now, now, this is a power analysis. This is this could be in any community. No metal backboard. That's right. Right. Now, name me a system or an institution that impacts this neighborhood. We're doing a power analysis. Name institution make up larger systems. Like the police is not by itself. We get mad at the police. But you got the police, the penal, and the judicial. They work as a team. Mm -hmm. You can make the police all you want. But the, the judge is the one we to let them out and give all that damn time. The police is like the law enforcer, the little military man. But so name your institution that impacts this neighborhood quickly. Bank. Banks, that's correct. Name another right quick. Education. The educational system, name another one. Criminal justice. Criminal justice system, name another one. I'm actually name your system and institution that impacts the neighborhood where we live at here in Seattle or any city. Housing. Housing, edu housing of not just public, but all of housing. Mm -hmm. Transportation, is that an issue here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
City services. City services, state services, and federal services. What about the drug system? Legal and illegal drugs affect this community. Now, let me say something. It don't mean that we don't have good stuff going on in this community. But I ain't talking about the good stuff right now. I'm talking about if we're going to analyze and be effective in our work and understand how racism is playing out, we got to understand what's going on. And you know you might live here, we still don't understand what's going on. Other thing I'm going to put in here, I don't know if y'all got it here, but most of this got it, is the big old billboard with the Marlboro man, somebody smoking a cigarette, the alcohol, all that kind of stuff. Y'all got that here? Okay, but you know, anybody, y'all been outside and y'all seen other cities, though. Right? Well, you see it, you see it, you see it. <laughs> you know, I got it in New Orleans, and now, see, before they used to have all white people on the billboards. Now, this equal opportunity got us smoking cigarettes, and in the Asian community, if it's all Asians, got the Asians smoking a cigarette. So we got all this oppression, and it, it shows smoking and drinking to go buy the cigarette. And I'm not, I'm saying that's just what's going on in our neighborhood. Some neighbors don't allow that in the neighborhood. Right. Now, the drug system, the drug system you got, you got the, the, two, the two biggest drug wars you got is Walgreens and Rite Aid. Mm. They fight with some of the most drugs on the corner. Because every city you go in, I don't know about here either, but you go into some cities, you got Walgreens on this corner and Rite Aid on the next one. And now they can sell liquor now. The Walgreens can sell liquor, so they compete on selling most drugs. That's a drug war. But we don't call it a drug war because it's so-called legal. But that's a drug war. Uh, 